where I rant for an hour. Um, Manchester City have been charged with 115 FIFA Fair Play rule violations. They got charged by UEFA two years ago. Case was partially overturned by the Court of Arbitration for Sport. However, the Premier League is outside of the Court of Arbitration for Sport, and they charged Manchester City on the 6th of February with 115 charges. The reason why it got overturned against UEFA was because there's a statute of time that you're allowed to charge somebody for these breaches. Premier League does not have these. So a lot of these charges are essentially fluffing the books. And because the owners of Manchester City own a lot of these sponsorships groups or companies that sponsor them, they're injecting cash into these companies to get them to pay Manchester City to help pay for their transfers. There's also not uh, helping with this. They're completely not helping with this investigation. Why would they? Um, they, <laughs> they have false reports of players and managers' wages. There's even one of Antonio or Roberto Mancini getting paid from a separate party more than his actual salary just so that his salary would be less for Manchester City. Um, the time frame is 2009-10 to now, essentially. Uh, the consequences are point deduction, fine, relegation, reversal of registration of players, and even removal of trophies is being talked about. What do you think they deserve? What I think they deserve and what I think will actually happen are probably two different things. Again, I'm, I'm curious why they decide to bring this up now. I mean, if some of these allegations are from 2009, 10, did they just come to light now? If so, right. they, how? they said it's a, been a four year investigation. So two years ago, UEFA had theirs. Yeah. So I assume they were just trying to collect enough concrete data. I mean, if that's the case, if they have them. evidence of this blatant, you know, fluffing the books or cheating, so to speak, it is they cheating. should get one, they should either get relegated or points deduction. Uh, how many points is enough then? You know, I don't know. I guess you maybe do 10 for each year. So you're talking. And it'd be what? 100 points. That's 100 points. Deduct them 100 points. <laughs> or I'd be more than that. It'd be like 130. And then they get sent down to the championship and they're still got points deductions. I will say, I, I don't think that'll happen. I think they might get a point deduction. At, honestly, is the heart, most harsh punishment. I don't see them getting I, stripped of trophies. I don't see them not being able to play players. I don't see any of that. I, I will say, I do think it'd be fun to see that Man City team play in the championship, see what kind of records they can break. <laughs> well, the thing is, too, is if they get kicked out of the Premier League, the EFL doesn't have to accept them. So they could go all the way down to the Nations League and have to work their way back up. There you go. You can see them playing Wrexham. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Wrexham is probably going to get promoted, so they wouldn't even play yeah. Wrexham. Um. Yeah, I I think this smells of Juve getting dropped down two divisions. Like, this is cheating. You know what the rules are. You're trying to falsely make your team a big club by injecting a ton of money. There's no way in hell that Manchester City should ever have more revenue than Manchester United. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how that's and possible. And they did. It's not possible, and somehow they did out of nowhere, there's not enough City fans in the world to even come close to Manchester United's revenue. I will say they've grown. I will give them yeah. credit for that. They definitely have grown. Obviously, winning titles does that. You become more well-known. People always like to support winners. And yeah. So, yeah, they've grown. But, again, as the highest, highest grossing club in England, is that what they were? Mm -hmm. More than Liverpool, more than Manchester United? You know, yeah, I don't see that. No, I don't either. Um, I think... I, I think you give them the hardest, harshest penalty. You fine them for the amount of money that they have won for the trophies. Let them keep the trophies because that's just a whole debacle that no one wants to do deal with. Um, fine them for the winnings, so hundreds, even billions of pounds. Yeah, that would be probably hundred, almost billions. 
Yeah, I, I would guess hundreds of millions. I mean, for every year they won the Premier League, it would be a hundred plus million. So you're talking at least six hundred. Um, and then I think they should be kicked out of the Premier League. I don't think they should be able to play in the Premier League. There's a s- specific set of rules for financial fair play. Financial fair play is a joke. I don't want to use Manchester City as you know, um, as a team that you really want to show that FIFA fair play is not a joke on. Um, but yeah, they should be relegated. Uh, it's up to the EFL to accept them to go down to the championship. I think it's so. I, I, so, what do you I'm think will mad. actually happen then? I think they. I you think they'll actually have all that. Minimum, very minimum. It'll be a fine and a points deduction, which won't even happen until next year. Um, I think if you know, even half of these hundred and fifteen breaches are true, and they can prove it, I think they get relegated. So, and then Arsenal win the league. <laughs> It wouldn't be till next season, so yeah. it would just be Manchester United and Arsenal for the title race, I guess. I will say, it, whatever season. punishment they decide to do, if they decide to go all out and punish Manchester City harshly, I think it could set a precedent for other clubs to hey shape up or. Mm-hmm. I and mean, I mean, I, you're seeing you're seeing Newcastle, who are technically the richest club in the world now, not spending exorbitant amounts of money and staying within their limits of financial fair play. And they're doing fantastic. I, I wouldn't say they're not spending exorbitant. They're, they're spending money for sure, more than I think they would have in the past before these current yes. owners. I mean, looking at Alexander well, Isak Mike, and Mike Bruno Ashley, Gimmeres. Mike Ashley would never spend that much money. No. And so, so don't get me wrong. Now that they have money, they're willing to spend it, I would say. But they're spending yes. it smartly. They're not obviously going out there and buying players for $100 million or spending no. $80 million on you know a Jack Grealish or whatever. But again, they're still in the early roots of that money, so they're going to have to take time to kind of build it. Newcastle is almost a brand mm-hmm. where they're in Champions League more consistently, and then obviously they'll be attracting bigger players. One hundred. And then I think you'll see them start spending more money. Yeah, I mean, if Newcastle makes Champions League, I think that's a game changer for them. I would love to see it. We'll see. I mean, they're not even in the Champions League places anymore, so... We'll see. But Manchester City, I think, should be charged. If if even half of these are true, they should be charged with the full extent of the law. So that's all I got. All right. Well, that brings us to this episode of Bruise and Banter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out our social at Bruise and Banter FC on TikTok, Instagram. You can check out some of our behind-the-scenes stuff. Check out some of my picks from my vacay, me repping my personal gear in other countries. Uh, don't forget to check us out on YouTube. You can see our beautiful faces. You can see Josh is getting nice and red talking about VAR. <laughs> yeah. And when I say heated, it means my face. You can see, see my blood boiling to the yeah. top physically. So don't forget to check us out on YouTube. Of course, the podcast, all podcast platforms. Join our Facebook group. Get in on the conversation. Tell us what you think. Should Man City be relegated? Points deduction? Or just Slap have on nothing happen fine. at all? Let Make us sure know. to check out our Red Bubble as well. That's right. Don't forget to check out the Red Bubble. Check out our merch. Help us keep doing this because we love to do it. It's fun for us and we enjoy it so much. 100%. And on that note, we love you guys. Thank you. Cheers. Prost. <laughs>